What I'm gonna do now is I'll probably I'm gonna play around with the with the with the strings. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll, I'll I'll play around it. I know the no notes, but it's just like wasting time to to play around with it. I might as well just copy it. I say paint what you're doing but uh, it's kind of boring but um, we'll try and see how it goes I'm putting a low cut on the strings so it doesn't interfere with the bass. And then um, we're gonna try and work out some beats. So I'll use ESX24. <coughs> Sorry about that. 808 kit. There's a hidden, yeah, we go. Shaker. Always reach the 808 kit then? Is that a yeah, I mean, it sounds really good. And um, it's just one of the best drum kits I've ever heard, I think. You can play around with it so much and it fits in the in every track you do, because it doesn't take too much space. So you can leave more space for the bass line and, and the kick drum and the strings instead of using drums that just mess up the sound.
Now I'm gonna play around with the 808 again. I'm gonna play around with the tombs because I think they're fantastic for. Can we have a listen to just the 808 on its own? Yeah, just yeah. I created this. And then you can quantize it as you want. So it's straight. But I kind of like it C. I think I'm gonna change. Um, this is the typical course of progress, you know. It's once you, when you once you work, you just wanna change the entire track sometimes. So um, I'm thinking of going in a different direction. In what sense? What, what are you liking? What are you it's kind of like yeah, I like when it's stripped down, you know, and and and, and kind of basic instead of uh, having. Yeah, no, it's not getting full, but it's just the kind of mood you're at. You know, you're, you're, I'm in a special mood today, and I'm just going to create something that fits my mood. Um, I think it's easier than trying to work and just and sit around, and you work and work, and you're going to be like, OK, I'm going to do a hit record, I'm going to do a hit record, I'm going to do a hit record. You know, it's never going to happen. You know, it's, you know, the more you say it, the longer distance you get from pulling it off. You know? I like the basic bass sound in in the in ESX24, just the original, just the you know, the original synth. Yeah, I kind of I love it. It's so deep, you know. for a while, see what happens. And you know, sometimes you go back to the ones, the, the track you started, sometimes you just keep on working on the new things. You know, it happens all the time, you just, it's, I call it schizophrenia, but uh, you can call it whatever. Back to minimal. I just put a straight bass. Um, that I quantized with um, with 16C just to make it more chopped up. And then um, I put the side chain on. You can still um, play around with the strings. <laughs> Keep it, uh, keep it rolling. So what 
about the drift straight now, you're not happy with that, are you? The old base? Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> That's deleted. The string sounds a little bit cheesy, so I'll... Uh, I'll remake them. something to feel um, sad but not you know not depressing perfect I'll just cut them to make them all the same length Put a reverb on the strings. I'll use. Uh, Easy yeah, because I think it feels good for the kind of um, the kind of thing you're doing. And and. So you're, going for, you're going for ultra realism on the strings, then, really. Real reverb uh, sounds. Yeah, strings. just trying to get it, you know, big. Happy with the strings. I think they sound beautiful. Not too much, you know, not too simple. Well, are you using a reset, reverb? No, I'll just pick one and, and just scroll around and see which one that fits best. Okay. Um, this one is a bit big, you know. Um, which one's that? What's it called? It's called non-linear. Okay. So I'll probably use. A drum reverb. It sounds odd, but... The drum reverb is short. But it's still thick, so...
put a spreader on the strings just to make them wider and that's for the same reason as I want to keep the bass and the kick drum in the center and uh, I think it's really important. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is um, I'm just scrolling around to see if I can find some some sound that's gonna fit into the whole into the whole track. I'm gonna look for a, a bleepier sound just to just to top top the top the track with stereo delay. Not, not so much a melody, just kind of a, a Maybe a melody, you know, just to. Uh, that's a stereo delay. Uh, this is a basic setting, but I'll um, I like to play around with it on my own. I wish I could sing, because I would probably go in and sing on it, but <laughs> uh, since I'm a lousy singer, I won't even open my mouth. So if you could put vocals on it, what, what are you thinking? Like, if you could have... um, some long stretched uh, female, light, light female vocals probably, just to... Like soulful, yeah, there's a problem when you're working with, with when I, I, I put, pick this path now, when I, I work a bit deeper, it's, it's the kind of problem, you can't add on too much stings because you kind of want to keep it simple and slow and, and just, just keep the vibe there. <laughs> 